guys, I'm Paul from Complete Canine Solutions in Perth, Western Australia. We specialise in dog behaviour modification and one-on-one -on -one training. One of the most common issues people come to us with is taking their dogs for a walk. They get pulled along and basically have no control of the dog throughout the walk. This episode will show you some of the most common mistakes that people make and some techniques that will help you overcome the issues that you're experiencing. So let's go find a dog. Okay, we've got our dog, we're about to go for a walk. One of the things that's really important when we're handling a dog is always just to take a moment and make sure that we're not stressed, anxious, in a hurry, because all those sort of energy will be transferred to the dog and escalate their behaviour. Let's take our dog for a walk. The most important thing before we start is to get our dog nice and calm, because if he's calm at home, we've got a chance of keeping him calm as the walk progresses. So we get our dog, we make him sit, sit Bailey, sit. Once he sits down and he starts being nice and calm and he's relaxed, then we can put our lead on the dog. Again, at this point, the dog might get excited. If the dog gets excited, we just wait again. It's all about making sure he's calm before we go outside. Open the gate. The dog waits. He's nice and relaxed, he knows I'm in control. And I've got a real good opportunity of keeping that all in place throughout the duration of our walk. Come on, let's go. Okay, so here we are halfway through the walk. As you can see, I'm nice and relaxed, I'm in control, I haven't got the lead wrapped around my hand, I'm not all tense, because all that sort of stuff it's just going to make the dog really anxious. And when the dog's anxious, they're not focusing on us. They're looking around everything else that's distracting him. Keep your dog nice and calm. You stay nice and calm, and you're halfway to a good walk. Throughout the duration of our walk, there's going to be times when our dog becomes distracted. And it's really important that straight away, as soon as this happens, we get the dog's focus back on us. This can be when a dog is distracted by another dog, a smell, or just wants to go in a direction that we don't want it to go. Now there are a number of ways we can refocus the dog back onto us with a correction. The first is we can use sound, call the dog's name, click your fingers, hey, any of these sort of things, just so the dog looks back at us. We can use the lead. By pulling on the lead, we'll get the dog's attention back on us as well. Another thing we can do is we can use contact. So as we're walking with the dog, if he really starts sort of looking away and starts really focusing on something, by giving the dog a touch, he'll turn around and look at us. And that breaking the focus then puts the attention back on us and then we're back in control of the walk. So here we are relaxing after a very enjoyable walk with our dog. Let's go through some of the key points that we discussed earlier today. Number one, always make sure you are calm. Number two, Always make sure your dog's calm before you leave home. Number three, always make sure your dog's focus is on you during the walk. Number four, early corrections are essential because this will help the dog focus on you rather than everything else in the park. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this has been helpful and you've picked up some hints that will help you and your dog develop a better relationship and we'll see you next time.